Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a sci-fi and horror movie from 2000 called Hollow Man. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie starts with a rat being put into a lab and ends up trapped in a cage. It sniffs around for food, but suddenly something invisible grabs and eats it. Sebastian is at his computer, working on a chemical formula and runs a simulation that doesn't work. He watches his neighbor as she changes, but she shuts the curtain, disappointing him. Soon after, he gets a new idea and modifies the chemical formula, running another test. This time, it shows that the element is stable. Sebastian calls Linda to share the breakthrough. When he sees a man asleep in her bed, she tells him it's no longer his concern. He shows Linda that he has solved the chemical problem by reversing the process. She's surprised that he figured it out suddenly. Linda wakes Matt and tells him they need to go to the lab. She suggests they drive separately, but Matt thinks she should tell Sebastian about their relationship when the time is right. That morning, Sebastian reaches the lab, which is highly secure. He uses his fingerprint to enter an elevator and speaks his password. In the lab, the invisible animals are only visible with thermal imaging. Matt pets an orangutan and greets a gorilla named Isabel. The animals panic when Isabel lunges at the cage. He puts on thermal goggles to see her and tries to calm her down. When he enters her cage to sedate her, she bites him and escapes. Matt chases her through the lab and runs into Sebastian, telling him about her increased aggression. Isabel's prolonged invisibility is affecting her mentally. Sebastian grabs a tranquilizer gun and he and Matt compete to reach her first. They manage to corner her and Sebastian tranquilizes her. Sarah confronts Sebastian about using the serum on Isabel without testing it first, calling it unethical, but he dismisses her concerns. Linda reminds Sebastian that he hired Sarah because she's the top vet in the country. Later, Linda prepares the serum and tells Sebastian it will be ready soon. Sarah lets him know the gorilla is recovering well, and Carter walks in, ready to provide medical support. Frank calls from the tech department, letting them know they're ready as well. Linda secures the serum in an injection gun and hands it to Matt to prepare. Sarah searches for a vein in Isabel's arm, and once she finds it, Sebastian takes the gun from Matt, insisting on administering the injection himself. He injects Isabel, and the serum visibly travels through her veins and body. Her heartbeat speeds up. Isabel begins to become visible again, and they are thrilled it's working. Suddenly, her condition worsens, and she goes into cardiac arrest. Linda uses a defibrillator on Isabel, shocking her several times until her heart beats again. As Isabel stabilizes, she becomes fully visible. The tech team reports that her quantum signatures are now stable, and everyone is overjoyed with their success, believing she will recover. After returning Isabel to her cell, Sebastian jokingly tells Sarah to prepare for a vivisection, upsetting her until Matt assures her it's just a joke, sort of. Linda suggests celebrating their success, so they head to a restaurant. There, Sebastian expresses his wish to reunite with Linda, but she rejects him. Later, Sebastian returns to the lab, interacts with an invisible dog, and talks about being invisible. Sometime later, Sebastian presents the results to a Pentagon committee. Dr. Kramer inquires how they solved the reversion problem, and Sebastian lies that they haven't, surprising Linda and Matt. Kramer demands quick results or threatens to replace Sebastian. Upset but strategic, Sebastian suggests starting human trials secretly to prevent the Pentagon from taking over, despite legal risks. The team disapproves, but Sebastian insists on proceeding. On the procedure day, despite Matt's suggestion to reconsider, Sebastian jokes about the situation. In the lab, Sebastian is nervous as his procedure begins. Frank and Janice playfully argue about inheriting his Porsche if he dies. After preparing the serum, Sebastian chooses to inject himself, ensuring others aren't implicated if issues arise. Initial panic ensues when no change is seen, but soon Sebastian convulses and begins turning invisible in patches, experiencing intense pain. Eventually, his condition stabilizes. Seventeen hours later, Sebastian awakes in pain, unable to close his transparent eyelids, and requests the lights off. He starts pranking everyone in the lab until caught on thermal goggles by Frank. Matt and Linda move him back to his room and keep watch. Sarah takes the first monitoring shift but feels Sebastian's presence while he pretends to sleep. The next day, she shares her unease with Linda, who feels conflicted. Despite Sarah's concerns, Matt checks on Sebastian, finding his vitals normal, yet Sebastian's behavior continues to discomfort Sarah. Janice also feels observed and uses thermal goggles for privacy. The team discusses their worries about Sebastian's misuse of his invisibility. That evening, Sebastian's antics escalate as he manipulates objects in the lab to frighten Linda. Sebastian makes an unwanted advance towards Linda, which she firmly rejects. The next day, they work on a serum to make Sebastian visible again. During the process, Sebastian starts to feel sick and begins to choke as his vital signs drop. 
After he breaks free from his restraints and causes chaos, Sarah and Linda manage to stabilize him and get his heartbeat back, but he soon goes into shock and disappears once more. Later, Sebastian wakes up with Linda explaining that he nearly died. They agree to keep this incident from the committee while they make him a mask to wear. That night, frustrated by the toll the experiments have taken on him, Sebastian tells Carter he's leaving despite the rules. After slipping past police surveillance, he scares some children at a traffic light and returns to his apartment. He then enters his neighbor's apartment, unseen by her, and assaults her. Meanwhile, Linda finds Sebastian's mask in his apartment, indicating he had been there. Back at the lab, the team gets ready to search for Sebastian, sharing equipment and emphasizing the need to keep his condition a secret. Suddenly, Sebastian returns, claiming he just went to get some items. Linda confronts him about her observations, and Matt questions why he went out publicly. Asserting his authority as project leader, Sebastian insists on his control. Linda warns him she'll report him to the committee if he leaves again. After everyone leaves, Sarah discovers from Linda that the committee is unaware of their experiment and she promises to keep quiet. Linda and Matt speculate that Sebastian's invisibility might be affecting his mental health. The next day, Carter examines Sebastian and tries to discuss his actions from the night before, but Sebastian is evasive and tries to put a positive spin on the situation. That night, Linda is awoken from a dream about Sebastian by a phone call. Matt believes he has found a solution. In the lab, they explain the new plan to Sebastian and the team. They run a simulation, but it fails at 95%, frustrating Sebastian, who storms out. Linda follows him to address how he treats Matt, but Sebastian argues they are not fully exploiting his unique situation. He then decides to tamper with the security cameras to make it seem like he's still in the lab. Sebastian watches Linda from her apartment. When Matt arrives and they go to another room, Sebastian breaks a window in anger. Linda calls the lab to check on Sebastian, and Frank, seeing the rigged camera feed, confirms his presence. Meanwhile, an upset Sebastian returns to the lab and kills the dog out of frustration. Sarah finds the dog and confronts Sebastian, but gets nowhere as the security footage shows him in bed all night. Feeling Sebastian's presence, Linda throws a blanket at where she thinks he stands and rushes to her car to drive to the lab. There, Matt reassures her that Sebastian is asleep, as shown on the monitor. However, she checks and finds he's missing, realizing he tampered with the camera. The team gathers in the lab, debating whether to pursue Sebastian or inform the committee. Matt reveals Sebastian's frequent unauthorized exits, and Linda decides they will take full responsibility before the committee. As they leave to meet Kramer, Sebastian watches them from outside. At Kramer's home, after discussing the situation, Kramer tries to call for reinforcements but finds his phone line is cut. He confronts Sebastian, who emerges and fatally attacks him in the pool. Sebastian gets out of the pool before Kramer's wife comes down. The next day, when Linda returns to the lab, Sebastian startles her by saying it's going to be a busy day. Matt informs her that Sebastian returned at 3 a.m. and has been roaming the lab since. They haven't heard back from Kramer, prompting Linda to call him, only to learn from his wife that he has drowned. Trying to call a general, Linda finds their phone line is dead. They check with security after realizing the elevator doesn't recognize their passwords and learn that Sebastian has revoked their system access. The team decides to seek help, but as Janice returns for her goggles, Sebastian kills her outside. In his room, Linda urges him to come forward. Sebastian confesses he's enjoying his newfound power too much to stop. When Janice is discovered missing, her body is found hidden in a locker. Carter believes Sebastian has lost his sanity, while Matt thinks he planned this, anticipating their betrayal. Frustrated, Sarah slaps Linda for letting the experiments go too far, supported by Frank. The team decides to act swiftly. Matt and Carter split up in their search, barely avoiding a mishap where Matt nearly shoots Carter. They think they spot Sebastian, but it's only a vent. Sebastian then ambushes Carter, and during their scuffle, Matt shoots a pipe, exposing Sebastian with vapor. Sebastian severely injures Carter and escapes, trapping Matt in a tunnel. Linda aids Matt and they press on. Sarah tries to get blood for Carter but is attacked and killed by Sebastian. When Linda and Matt find Carter dead, Sebastian ambushes and kills Frank, then injures Matt and locks them in the freezer. Linda uses duct tape to treat Matt's wound as Sebastian prepares to leave the facility. Sebastian sets a bomb with a five-minute timer. Linda escapes the freezer using a defibrillator-made magnet and warms Matt with a fire. She confronts Sebastian in the elevator, setting him on fire. Running out of gas, she activates the sprinklers. Sebastian attempts to kill Linda, but Matt intervenes, knocking him out. Sebastian accidentally electrocutes himself, becoming visible briefly. They find the bomb and escape into the elevator shaft, avoiding a deadly blast that sends the elevator flying and then crashing. During their escape, Sebastian grabs Linda, but she releases the elevator, sending him into the flames below. 
Linda and Matt then safely exit the lab, surviving the events. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.